me at her! Is this for me? Give me an axe! No, no, give me a chainsaw! I'm gonna slice her into tiny pieces! Team guy here, back with a contest for Toddy Walnuts where he wanted me to answer, well, everyone to answer two questions. Um, first question was, uh, what's your favorite movie from the year you were born? And, um, I was born in 91, so, of course, like a childhood movie of mine, um, I chose Drop Dead Fred, a uh, very, very awesome film. Well, it is a lovely day for it. <laughs> the death breath! <laughs> she killed me with the death breath! <laughs> Be gone, evil one! Ooh. Um, just classic, I mean, you know, Phoebe Cates, Rick Mayall. Real awesome. We got Carrie Fisher in here. You know, um, everyone knows who she is. She recently passed, but uh, I love this movie. This is one of those things that me and my sister watched a lot when we were real little. Basically about a Phoebe Cates character. Uh, it starts off, um, you know, she's like a little girl and she has an imaginary uh, friend named Fred, played by Rick Mayall. And basically, uh, you know, they cause some chaos for um, Phoebe Cates' uh, OCD mom. And as Phoebe Cates gets older, she loses uh, like that like uh, connection with the drop dead Fred. And her mom, like you know, uh, tapes up the box that he's uh, that he comes out of, and then puts him up in the closet, but she's lonely again, a lot of stuff's going on, um, she ends up, uh, being with Tim, uh, Matheson's, uh, character in this, and basically, like, you know, all this crazy stuff, uh, happens with her, and she gets depressed, and then Fred comes back in her life, and starts all this crazy stuff again, it's a real good movie, it's a shame that this is long out of print, I, uh, also have the VHS, the exact tape that I had, uh, when I was a kid that I watched a ton of times, just great stuff. Um, gotta love Drop Dead Fred. And that movie came out in 91, the year I was born. And then the, uh, second question was, um, that Todd asked was, basically, um, what movie that was, like, popular was made around, uh, where you live, or, like, you know, in your state, or whatever, and, uh, I gotta go with probably my favorite, um, movie as of right now, and that's The Stepford Wives, uh, this thing came out in 75. In the town of Stepford, the men are getting exactly what they always dreamed of, perfect wives. And the dream is becoming a nightmare for the Stepford wives. A very modern suspense story from the author of Rosemary's Baby. The Stepford wives about what men can do behind closed doors. Uh, they were telling me about the men's association. Right now, it's strictly men only. Not to mention that creepy men's association. We moved here about two months ago, and Ed joins this men's association. Anything that gets him out of the house nights is fine with me. I like to watch women doing little domestic chores. You came to the right town. I want to please him now. I'll just die if I don't get this recipe. It took me so long to get the upstairs floor to shine. Charmaine's changed, Carol Van Zandt's changed, and so have all those other women's club members. I'm getting the hell out of Stepford. Bobby, it's gotten to you now. I just want to look like a woman. And you're not going to leave Stepford either, are you? Leave Stepford? Charmaine changed. Carol Van Zandt changed. She's changed. And stop telling me I'm crazy. You see somebody, you get some help, you, you see a psychiatrist. I think the men in the association are behind it. And my time is coming. <laughs> Everybody's out looking for us, so don't panic. I want my children! Where are they? Charmaine changed. Bobby changed. And my time is coming. Columbia Pictures and Palomar Pictures present Catherine Ross and Paula Prentice in The Stepford Wives. Oh, no. A very modern suspense story from the author of Rosemary's Baby, rated PG. Original directed by um, Brian Forbes. Um, this was made uh, basically in. Uh, this is all made in Connecticut, and it takes place in a fictional town called Stepford, Connecticut. But the uh, 
uh, spots it was taken, uh, well, filmed was uh, Darien for, like, the supermarket. And then there was uh, Fairfield. And, uh, hold on, Fairfield and um, Westport. Yeah, Westport. Um, and that's, like, you know, probably 40, 45 minutes away from where I live. But I absolutely love this movie. It's definitely pretty creepy. Um, I don't know. It's... Now, if you guys don't know the uh, story or anything to this, uh, definitely check it out. Or at least check out my movie review Monday that I did a little while back on this. I think it was episode 50. Um, such a great film. Uh, so creepy. Catherine Rouse does a great uh, great job in this movie. But and it was uh, also by the uh, director, Ira Love, and I also have this uh, uh, hardcore uh, book. Um, I just love this. And this is also the same guy that made... Um, Rosemary's Baby, he wrote the book for. Um, it says it right up there, too. But, um, awesome stuff. I mean, it's just cool that it takes place uh, in a state that I'm from. Not too much happens in Connecticut, but it's cool that this was a uh, part of it. But, yep, yeah, that'll do it for uh, this video. Um, if you guys haven't checked out Toddy Walnuts, uh, I'll leave a link down in the description for his channel. Subscribe to him. He's a great guy. He's got a great collection of movies. And he's just, overall, just, you know, all around awesome guy you know and um yeah thanks guys for watching uh give this video a thumbs up if you like it leave a comment down below let me know what you guys think and uh subscribe if you haven't already it's always appreciated and um yeah stay tuned for my um upcoming 31 days of halloween 2017 i'll be doing a video every day reviewing a different movie and uh tune in for that guys thanks for watching and take it easy